The wind spirit. The wind is very important to Scandinavian culture. Mm -hmm. Different wind spirits are an important part of the folklore, and we got really excited about that idea because Unfrozen One says in Let It Go, one with the wind and sky, what is yeah. this wind we're talking about? So having a lot of fun with the wind spirit. The first time we're being introduced to this character is with Queen Aduna, who you see in flashbacks in the forest of the North Eldra. We knew we were gonna have Anna and Elsa's parents in this, and we loved that Aduna has a relationship with the wind spirit, and you got to really see how comfortable she is in nature. Get to see her playful spirit, which you can see really maybe where Anna gets it. I love how there's so much thought put into every little beat of this character, and nobody settles for anything less than magic. The wind bag. <laughs> delicious. I think I'll name you Gail. I love that Gale starts off very ominous, but then becomes very sort of mischievous with our characters and wants to find out more about them. And technically, it's beautiful. It's a character that is basically invisible, and that was the challenge. We had to try to give Gale a personality. How do we give personality to something that's invisible? And so we decided that you'll see it, whether it's picking up leaves or twigs, or even if it's just clothing or hair, you will sense that the wind is there. As Gail's playing with these elements and clothing, it gives you this personality. And as the story goes on, it actually sort of guides them a little bit and helps them towards solving some of the mysteries.